The Board of Uganda Coffee Development Authority recently visited the Katikiri of Buganda to reflect on the seven-year partnership initiated in 2017 with the Uganda Kingdom aimed at enhancing coffee production. The meeting took place at Bulange Mengo. During the event, Katikiro Maiga appealed to the government to increase funding for UCDA, highlighting its direct involvement with farmers and its crucial role in the coffee industry. I urge government to reconsider um, the plans of uh, phasing out UCDA. We want to work with them even more. We want to see UCDA in every district in this country because 70% of the population of Ugandans are involved in coffee farming. They are farmers. I think this is an agency that should even finance them more. I, I, they told me they don't have money to give us. They can support us in their humble way. Why should UCDA be supporting us in a humble way? Which other product of Uganda brings in a billion dollars? I mean from Ugandans. I know tourists do that. I know... Um, I know that uh, the diaspora sends us more money than that. But I'm talking about a product of Ugandans. Maiga advised UCDA to actively promote Ugandan coffee on the international stage, aiming to attract greater consumption globally. I went to Sweden, and at the airport, this hurt me actually. At the airport, at Stockholm, in the lounge, they took me to their lounge, and they used coffee sacks with which coffee is imported into Sweden as, as decorations. They arrange them so well. I saw Rwanda coffee, I saw, I don't know, coffee from Latin America. There was no sack marked Uganda coffee. How much coffee does Rwanda produce for them to have their sacks spread in the lounge as decorations? We need to do marketing. Dr. Charles Mugoya, chairman of UCDA board, affirmed that the results of the partnership between UCDA and the Uganda Kingdom have been tangible and beneficial. We also acknowledge the Kingdom's diversification beyond the coffee production and productivity. Notably, the finished roasted product, Kawa Mpologoma, is now becoming a household name, and the Kingdom company, Mwanyi Terimba Limited, having obtained a license to export coffee was a great move in that direction. The managing director of UCDA appealed to Katikiro to continue using his influence to encourage people to engage in more farming activities. The production has increased, but we are not yet midway. For you, we have surpassed the midpoint, but the production which would have earned us even more uh, Uganda has set a target of exporting 20 million bags of coffee by 2030. The achievement of this goal relies heavily on practicing good habits and sustainable agriculture practices. As the UCDA board visits the Uganda Katikiro, the call to maintain UCDA's independence and increase in its funding remains a crucial aspect in ensuring the prosperity of Uganda's coffee industry. Lydia Chomkama, Andrew Sebira, UBC News.